Hey guys, I'm Katie Nolan. Today is Thursday, May 16th. You're never too young to be mayor. And this is your guys in speed round. Minnesota legalized gay marriage earlier this week, becoming the second state in the Midwest to do so. Which is amazing, but let's not get all excited about Minnesota being like a role model for making smart decisions, because one town there just elected this four-year-old boy as their mayor. When asked how he felt about the landmark decision, he said, I want mac and cheese, because he's fucking four. An American Airlines flight from LA to New York had to make an emergency landing in Kansas City to remove an unruly passenger who had been deemed a threat because she would not stop singing Whitney Houston songs. This isn't the first time a crazy person wouldn't stop singing Whitney Houston songs. This also happened with Whitney Houston. Jaden Smith, son of Will and Jada Pinkett Smith, has asked his parents to sign the necessary paperwork to emancipate him for his 15th birthday. Quick question, if they don't sign that paperwork, is that racist? Think about it. Rich families are supposedly hiring handicapped kids on the black market to accompany them at Disney World so that they can skip the long lines. Meanwhile, poor families are still just beating their children until they need crutches. Suck it up, Jimmy, you're the one who wanted to go on Splash Mountain. A grandmother in North Carolina took her family on a walk last week completely naked, which she says was because the Lord told them to get naked and walk down the street. Said the family's landlord, I, I really didn't think they were gonna listen. Rich person Richard Branson lost a bet to another guy with a shit ton of money, and then consequently had to dress up as a woman. It's a good thing that I knew that when I saw this picture, because otherwise I would have been extremely jealous of Martha Stewart's playoff beard. Speaking of which, just because you guys brought it up and said I didn't bring it up, the Bruins? That game was fucking amazing! And of course, it's not like I would have been in Boston anyway, but I was in LA, and I was in a restaurant drinking and just literally screaming, top of my lungs, and didn't care. Should be interesting now though, because I live in New York, um, and now we're playing the Rangers, so um, if there's ever not a speed round anytime soon, call the cops or something. I'm not well. Burger King has announced that they'll be releasing their own version of the McRib sandwich this summer called the BK Rib Sandwich. Wendy's has responded by saying they will compete with the crispy chicken sandwich, which contains just as much rib as those other two. OJ Simpson took the stand yesterday to testify in his own defense, something he's never done before, asking for a new trial in the 2008 case that landed him in jail, saying he had no idea that the guys he was with were going to bring guns to that memorabilia shop because he'd been drinking heavily before the incident. He said, I had a joke. My doctor says I should never have an empty glass, is what I would tell the waitress. Oh, OJ, you slay me. Google announced its new music service to rival Spotify yesterday called Google Play Music All Access. What's in a name? Literally every bit of information you need to know about that service. Be sure to keep an eye out for their rival to Instagram, Google Take Pictures Usually Food. A foul-smelling foam-like substance started oozing out of a crack in the street in Nanjing, China, and nobody knows what it is. China? More like vagina, am I right? It looks like a vagina. You guys wouldn't know. After Angelina Jolie's shocking recent announcement about her double mastectomy, an alarming amount of women have already reached out to their doctors. Back in the 90s, Jennifer Aniston got a bunch of women to chop off all their hair. Now Angelina Jolie is getting a bunch of women to chop off all their boobs. Team Jen. Since day one, Team Jen. Oscar Mayer is excited to announce that they'll be introducing bacon-infused hot dogs this summer. Since when do you start caring what's inside of your hot dog? Asked the rat poop inside of your hot dog. Prince Harry stopped by the Jersey Shore to visit two communities that had been hit pretty hard by Hurricane Sandy, accompanied by Governor Chris Christie. People in New Jersey say they were surprised to find out for a prince, he's really not that uptight. Unlike Chris Christie's pants. A French study published in the Psychology of Music Journal has found that men with guitars are more likely to get laid. Then who, said a man with a gun?
And that's going to do it for your speed round, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know which part made you laugh the loudest. If you haven't left yet today, there'll be a link in the description to a video that will make you do so. Enjoy your Thursdays. Head to my Facebook and leave me some questions on my status for a viewer email tomorrow. Quick thank you to everybody who donated for that gift to Lizzie yesterday. That was amazing. I got so much money so quickly. And I'm going to buy her something really awesome and put all your names of everybody who donated on a card. And I will put that on my Facebook or here in the speed round so you can see what it is that we got her and it's gonna be awesome and thank you um, and other than all that stuff I just said I'll see you right back here tomorrow with more headlines that you need to know back in the 90s <clears throat> back in the 90s Jennifer Aniston got a bunch of women <clears throat> okay Oscar my <clears throat> what is happening in my throat a French study published in the psychology of music gym <laughs> did you see that that was like projectile spit